Hey, how's it going, guys? It's your boy, Kingdom. Welcome to another video. Today uh, is an interesting video uh, and a topic that I keep saying to you guys that I'm going to do, and I'm just finally now going to do it. Uh, I talked uh, last week in a video that I did where I talked about the Sticks Live being, leaving the Sticks being my greatest regret in gaming, and it is. Uh, you know, I look at all these videos that are in the background behind me, and they're some of my most watched videos and some of my the content that I'm the most proud of. And down in the corner down there, you can see a little image of my blacklisted video, which is where uh, that video alone probably added 10,000 subscribers to my channel. That's a third of my viewing audience when I was at the height and the peak uh, of my content creation. And I want to say a few things before I talk to you guys about crowdfunding. And, and, and I want to make sure you understand something from me, because this is a unique request that I'm making. Uh, but it's a request that I don't feel bad about. I just feel a little different, you know, because it's something I've never done. It is not, it is not, number one, it is not your responsibility to, like, take care of me or pay my way or, you know, you're, you, you, this is free content. And that's one of the first things I want to tell you guys is that I will never withhold content. And, and I'm not asking anybody to pay for content. I'm not asking you to basically support me or I'm not going to make any COD esports videos. The reality is I've never withheld content for any reason except for me focusing on something else in my life, whether that be being a pastor and I wanted to be the best pastor that I could be. I was a youth pastor for 10 years. Uh, I had so many students and uh, ministries, and then I was a young adult pastor, and I just had people's lives that relied on me spending time with them and focusing on them, and Call of Duty Esports became something that I just couldn't figure out where to fit in my life and do it consistently, and I took a big risk, and yeah, I've said in a video that I kind of regret it, you know, um, I, I don't regret the, you know, the time that I had sharing um, my own experiences in my childhood and the difficulty that I had, like the kingdom story was something that you guys loved. And it, it is something that I want to finish. I want to bring it back. I want to start with episode 13 and keep going with the kingdom story. Uh, but the kingdom story is my story. You know, you guys know me as kingdom soldier, but Anthony, me, uh, I have a real story. I've been through some real stuff, you know, and all that, those stories were not stories that I made up. That's my life. And there are people in this area, there's people at the churches that I was pastoring at that benefited greatly from that story. And so I took time and I focused on that. Uh, and I focused on my family and I focused on my kids. You know, I have a 12 year old, 10 year old and eight year old. You know, I got three boys that all want to be little gamers and YouTubers now, which I think is awesome. Uh, but I would, if I'm, if I'm blatantly honest, my vision for myself, I would love nothing more than to be a Call of Duty esports content creator full-time and I can't do it myself. I can't do it alone. And I've always believed that what we can't do alone, we can do together. And with your guys' help, yeah, I can continue on the path that I'm on right now. But number one, I have to let you guys know, I am not going to withhold any content. If I have time to make content, I'm going to make content and I'm going to continue to make Call of Duty Esports content. Because you know, and I, I tweeted this today, but I am more excited about this season of Call of Duty than I've ever been about any season of Call of Duty esports in the, I don't know, 10 years that I've been following it. You know, I was following COD esports um, when, well, this way, when my dude over here was playing Black Ops 1, you know, I was watching Rambo and J-Cap and all those guys and Merc and, and, and just, you know, to watch what's happened to the scene and to watch what's happened to Call of Duty Esports, I would love nothing more than to talk about it every single day. However, financially, I can't organize my life around it right now, but I want to. And that's why I'm reaching out to you guys. And I'm also reaching out to you guys because I've gotten DMs, I've gotten tweets, uh, and I got responses to the video that I put out on the stick saying, hey, man, make it. And I will help you because I would love to help you. So I just want to let you guys know, I'm not going to withhold any content. Um, no matter what, I'm here. And if, it's, if, if all I can do is, is watch 
Call of Duty Esports, which is what I've done over the last like three years. If all I can do is watch Call of Duty Esports, and then of course, you know, I had to pop in to talk about the end of the of the dynasty uh, at Optic Gaming. If all I can do is watch Call of Duty Esports and I can't make videos about it, then that's what I'll do. Um, but I would like to do more. I would like to have videos that go way beyond it's kind of funny because if you look up in the corner over there you see how to record mobile games which is a video that i put out like a year ago and it's easily going to be my most watched video by the end of this year and i have another one uh that i'm going to make about streaming mobile games because that's something i do every single day uh if those of you guys that are interested in call of duty mobile that's the reason why my channel uh and i'm digressing for a minute because this i want to help you guys understand like if you see on my channel there's like call of duty mobile content and then there's COD Esports content. The reason is because I stream Call of Duty Mobile. I don't stream Modern Warfare. And so, and I have a lot of fun playing it. Um, I got an iPhone 11 Pro Max. It plays it at max quality frames and it's just fun. And I love it. Play with community people. I play with my friends from back in the day that used to play Black Ops 2 with me, like Ocho. And you're gonna see some of that content, but I have created a second channel for most of my Call of Duty mobile gameplay. I have a Kingdoms mobile games channel and there's a link for it in the description if you wanna see that stuff. But every once in a while, I'm gonna pop some of my best content for Call of Duty mobile onto this main channel so that people can find my stream. It's just a way for people to find my stream because I stream, I've been streaming every day um, over this week. I've just been streaming every night from like 10 p.m. till two in the morning. So uh, nevertheless, that's because I have the time right now and I can focus on it and I want to continue to focus on it. I There's so much content that is going to flow out of Call of Duty franchising this year and I would love to be a part of that. Um, so what I've done is I've created a GoFundMe and I do want to let you guys know, you're not just helping me, you're helping my family. I can't lie to you and be like, you know, um, the money that I'm asking for is so that I can buy a new camera and so that I can get software and so I can get new headphones and, and so that I can get a microphone and not have to use these Bluetooth headphones to record and so that I can get, a you know, something better than using the, like, you know, the webcam that comes on this laptop and have to prop it up on these books <laughs> so I could get my, my giant computer fixed that I built so that I could make content. I need to get it fixed and there's not a lot that needs to be done with it, but all of those things I'm mentioning, I just can't afford right now. I need um, to get uh, editing software. I'm using, I'm not even gonna tell you guys what I'm using uh, to make these videos, but you know, I'm so, I want to produce content bad enough that I make it work and I will continue to make it work. And that's what I, I know I keep saying that, but I need you guys to know that this is not a, hey, you help me out or it's over, you know, <laughs> and um, I'm gonna do my best. But if you guys do help me out, um, you know, if I'm honest, my family is in not a good place right now financially, you know, I'm just being honest, you know, and what I'm asking for, the help that I'm asking for is so that I can help to pay off some of that debt and then also pay forward a little bit so that I can build this channel and build my Twitch channel. Um, this week I've been streaming and I picked up six subscribers just streaming some COD Mobile like two to three hours a night, you know, um, and so... I know that if I continue to make content, I'll be successful. I believe in myself. And I know that a lot of you guys believe in me. And at the at the end of the day, you've provided help by watching my videos, by coming in my comments and telling me how much you missed my, my, my uh, content and telling me like, somebody was like, can we go back to 2013, you know, <laughs> like, and everybody's like, I missed you so much. And, and I miss you guys too. You know, I, I miss this YouTube community when I'm not involved and when I'm not a part of it. And on Twitter, all of the pro players, all the optic guys are old school, hashtag redacted, you know, all the throwback optic people, everybody still follows me. Um, and watching the success that everyone has had, watching the success of the Hitches and the Landons and the Goalies. And I mention those guys a lot and I will always mention them a lot because regardless of what happens to me, they're my legacy. And that's what, that's, that's, that's the way I think about it. You know, yeah, for most of you that know Hitch now, you were introduced to him by Hector, but Hitch was introduced to Hector by me. Um, and Hector and I had conversations about him, you know, and about his future. And he saw the same thing I saw, just a young, talented dude, you know, same thing I saw in Goalie. When I saw one montage that he made on Black Ops 2, I was like, 
I like this guy. And there's a new guy that I found in the community, a little secret gem um, that you're going to meet because I guarantee you I'm going to make content with him. I'm going to do some collabs. So let me tell you guys a little bit of what I'm thinking in terms of the content that I'm going to bring back. I honestly don't know about the potential of the sticks, but I do know that I'm going to make a live podcast um, that is going to be a once a week podcast that I'm going to stream on my Twitch channel um, that is going to be live. Uh, and I don't know the day and the time and all that stuff yet, but of course I'll release it to you. There's a lot of content flowing from Call of Duty right now, enough that I'm bringing back the best competitive videos of the week. <laughs> Easily the most successful series outside of the COD profiles. Easily the most successful series that I've ever done on my channel. To this day, most of the traffic that comes to my channel is from those videos, is from the best competitive vids of the week. And I'm going to bring that back. I've already started recording and I'm probably going to post one on Sunday or Monday. I'm going to do the first, I, I'm not going to call it episode 37 or whatever, you know, based on all the ones that I did back in the day. I'm going to start over, uh, but I'm going to do best competitive vids uh, of the week. And I am going to bring back a podcast. And my goal is that I continue to upload every single day something Call of Duty esports related. Uh, I don't want this to be a variety channel. I'm not going to talk about Gears of War and all this kind of stuff and Halo. Um, I want to focus on Call of Duty esports because I love Call of Duty esports. My dude, Klee, uh, on Twitter said something the other day. He said, one of the things he's learned about creating content is you, you, you can't treat your YouTube channel like Walmart, where you can just buy everything there, you know? And it's like the difficulty of being a variety streamer as well. Um, if you find a niche, ride your niche and ride it out. And it's very similar to the advice that I got from Hex back in the day when he said, you have to introduce the community to a personality and to who you are or who you want to be online and never betray that. And for what it's worth, I will apologize for what maybe has felt like betrayal to you guys over the last two to three years where I've been uploading all this mobile content and all this kind of stuff. And, you know, I told you guys in the sticks video, the reason I uploaded all the mobile content is because I got kids that play mobile games and I just uploaded what I could. I was playing a game with my son and I made videos about that because, but now my son turned 12 on Christmas day, me and him, we dropped together and we play battle Royale on call of duty mobile. And so now I'm making call of duty mobile content, but I made a whole separate channel to put all of that gameplay and stuff like that. So nevertheless, uh, in the description of this video, you're going to see a link to the GoFundMe. It's not a requirement. It is an ask. It is a, I'm reaching out for your guys' help. Uh, and this isn't easy for me. Um, I've always tried to like handle my issues secretly and handle my problems secretly. Uh, but this is just an opportunity and I just want to see what happens because people told me, you know, Hey, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. I'll help. I'll help. I'll help. And so I'm going to do it and we'll see what happens. The sky's the limit guys. Nevertheless, this is your boy kingdom and I will see you in the next video. Peace out.